it's an addictive business. You know, I don't know that either of us would have dreamt that we'd have a career like this. I was 16 when we started the band, and I thought, well, you know, if I get into my early 20s with it, that would be amazing. <laughs> It's hard finding completely new things in music for anybody, but you can still carve out things that are different for you and uh, a different shape, a different style. There's a lot on the Paper Gods album that I truly don't believe we, we, we've done before. Honestly, I think we've thrown away probably two albums worth of other material in getting to this one album until we've sort of sculpted what we want and, and got the, uh, the sound architecture right, it, it's, it's not exciting to us. I know it well, but it's a dream I can't place. Something is happening to me. Maybe it's happening to you, you, you. Here's a band that I've known for 30 something years. I would have never dreamed of making a song like Pressure Off with them in the way that we did it. We've been saying for years, look, we need to play new songs to give energy to the older material. You try and strike that balance between catalogs and hits and experimental stuff. We know what people, the songs people are paying to see, but we also believe that very few people out there tonight are here because they want to see an oldies act. They actually really want to feel connected. If we give them something that is new and cool, they're actually going to leave with a better experience than if we just play the hits. Oh! Niall and Duran Duran go way back, don't we, buddy? When was the first one? Um, when dinosaurs walked the earth. <laughs> We're still here, mate. What are you talking about? They had the desire to evolve. And maybe if it wasn't the desire to evolve, maybe they had no choice. Maybe if you decide to live, you decide to grow. You can't be afraid. You, you, oh, well, we're going to lose our audience if we do that. If you think like that, you, you never change anything. A lot of artists now are much more uh, multimedia than they were when we started. Of course, we learned much of this from people like David Bowie, Roxy Music, who, who were very uh, image conscious and aesthetically aware of what they were presenting. David Bowie was largely responsible for influencing most of our generation. And what we learned from him was the ability to change so frequently and how exciting that was. We came up in a very, very creative time. People often talk about punk rock and they think that, you know, it was not a style conscious era. It was a tremendously style conscious era. It was a time in Britain where like every kid our age wanted to be in a band. I mean, everybody. I mean, it's like for a whole year, like nobody did anything at school. No boy went to school. We were all trying to form bands, but you had to find your own thing. You couldn't, the worst thing you could do was to copy somebody else's thing. You know what I mean? So Nick and I were going to see bands every night. We're going to see the B-52, Stiff Little Fingers, The Clash, The Ramones. And we're like, well, we can't do that because they do that. What are we going to do? Technology played a part, you know, we got turned on by like the Giorgio Moroder electro thing that was coming out. And Roger and I started getting into, into funk and we started really working at, you know, having a rhythm section, which nobody in punk had ever really done. So it, was a, it was an amazing, amazing time to being in a band. I've seen them change as people, but the one thing that's amazing is I've watched them grow and develop as musicians. I wasn't interested in longevity when I was a teenager, neither of us were. 
but maybe in the last 10 years or so you start looking to artists that, that kept some kind of vitality right to the end. I mean, that's what you're looking at now. I mean, I don't really look for inspiration to 20 year olds. I mean, I know they've got energy and inspiration. You know, I'm, I'm interested in how does a guy in his 60s or his 70s stay vital and sexy and interesting as an artist. All we're ever trying to do is make the perfect show and we get as close to it as we can, but never quite there. It's why we have to keep playing.